On June 8th, the Juara Turtle Project received reports from Ayabatang locals and Marine Park officers that a juvenile green sea turtle was having buoyancy issues and could not dive below the surface. When she was rescued, she was in very poor condition. She had barnacles all on the underside of her body, suggesting that she had been swimming near the surface and moving very little for quite some time. Despite the efforts to save her, it was unfortunately too late, and she died later that night. With no physical exterior injuries, we were curious to find out what killed this sea turtle. The fat here yeah. is we call uh, become black already. Mm -hmm. It should be like buttery color. It means like uh, if she used the the energy from the fat. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. What we found in her intestines was simply shocking. Large solid masses of what seemed to be a mixture of bile, oil, microplastics, and string. These masses had become so packed and hard, we could barely cut through it with a knife. The large obstructions inside of her intestines caused gas pockets to form. Like an inflated balloon, it made it impossible for her to dive. A bowl full of microplastics, string, and fishing line was recovered from her stomach. The green sea turtle's inability to consume more food and to digest the food she had already consumed ultimately caused her to starve to death. Her shell will be kept to educate and remind people of the impacts that we are having on our oceans.